Laundry. Whirlpool. Inspired by you. There's certainly been much debate on how to detect problems in aging bridges and overpasses. Well, now a Montreal-based company says it's possible to actually listen for the cracks. Maya Johnson explains. From the De La Concorde overpass collapse in Laval last September to the bridge that crumbled over the Mississippi River in Minneapolis earlier this month, these are the stories that make drivers nervous. I feel safe, not really, no. Uh, no, I don't feel safe because especially when the traffic is stopped and we're completely stopped underneath uh, those things. We really don't feel comfortable. This summer, engineers all over Quebec have been taking a hard look at bridges and overpasses. Tysec is a company that specializes in acoustic emission testing. There's no noisy drilling like this. Instead, the company's engineers apply sensors to strategic spots on the structure. And these sensors are much like a doctor's stethoscope. We listen to the structure just like the doctor listens to you. The sensors pick up high-frequency sounds that can't be detected by the human ear, sounds that represent cracks expanding under stress. Those frequencies are transformed into electronic signals. Juan Melia is an engineer who interprets the signals on this computer screen. In this particular case, we had to be focused on those two clusters because we see a lot of signals from those particular places. And finally, we then classify the source from one to five. Five says maybe you should stop the traffic on the bridge. One says it's perfectly good and you can continue your normal maintenance activities. The kind of maintenance many drivers are anxiously waiting for. It is scary, yes. I hope they fix them out pretty soon. <laughs> That's exactly what Transport Quebec plans to do, but not with Tysex technology. The ministry is relying on its own engineers to inspect 135 bridges and overpasses across the province that may be in trouble. The inspections began in July and will continue well into the fall. The hope is that the searching will provide some answers and put drivers at ease. Maya Johnson, CTV News. PQ leader Pauline Marois could be in for a fight in an upcoming by-election. The ADQ is breaking with tradition and it's announced it will run...